Hi, my name is Riz and welcome to my channel. So today, I'm going to be taking a picture of the uh, Veil Nebula. It's in the Cygnus region. Um, probably one of my favorite constellations, I reckon. Just loads going on in there. Um, I've actually already posted a picture of the, uh, of the Veil Nebula. Uh, if anyone follows my Instagram, then you would have seen it. Uh, I'm not entirely happy with it. I think there's still some faint details that I could get. So um, I'm going to I'm going to be doing some longer exposures. Uh, instead of three minutes, I'm going to try to fi try five minutes. I haven't actually checked the histograms on the subs, so I will be doing that in between, like you know, filming and stuff. Um, but uh, I think I can probably eke out a little bit more detail if I do five minute subs instead of three minute subs. Since my last video. A few things have changed, i.e. equipment. So, let me show you. So, uh, I now have a HEQ5 Pro mount, uh, which is pretty awesome. I'm also using a modified 70D now, instead of my old 7D. I modified it myself. Um, I was gonna do a video on modifying it, but it turned out to be an absolute faff. So I didn't do that. I got some footage and stuff, but never actually did anything with it. Um, got a new guide camera on here as well, just because I had two separate setups and um, I didn't want to keep on changing. So this is uh, yeah, a tube tech. I don't even know what model it is. GCMOS S0 1200KMB. It's a monochrome. 1.2 megapixel thing. It's, you know, nothing special, but it does the job. Um, and this is all running on a Raspberry Pi over there. I'm um, using Stellamate. I um, might give a quick, quick overview of Stellamate. No expert, and there's still stuff that doesn't quite work well for me, but the idea is I can leave this out. I can control it all from the warmth or whatever of my home and um, it's just you know less bulk out and less stuff to get nicked because you know didn't really want my razor getting stolen um and that is about it so i am at 300 mil um oh i also have a uh, a skytech tri-band filter in there um I think that could be part of the reason why I'm not picking up some of the faint stuff because it's it blocks a lot of light. Um, so I'm hoping five minute subs will fix that. But yeah, so I'm gonna have to do a polar alignment, focus, and then um, and then image alignment. And then it'll be going. But it's not gonna be until about midnight. <laughs> so do 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 there is that thing there uh, is going to be right in my field of view. So I've got to wait until uh, the Val Nebula uh, passes that tree bush thing. Um, as soon as Polaris comes out, I'll get my polar alignment done. Um, also, Vega should come out a little bit before that. So, um, I will be using Vega as the uh, focusing star. 
Um, heaters, have, the dew heaters have been on for a while, so I'm hoping like the whole lens um, should be like at some reasonable ambient temperature. Uh, so I shouldn't get any shifts in autofocus throughout the night. Uh, that has happened before. And um, yeah, everything's going fairly smoothly so far. The only one thing I would say is, uh, so this is the first time I'm using uh, the uh, EOS R for video. Uh, I've been using it for photos for a little over a week now, loving it. Um, and I thought, oh, you know, I'll get a nice uh, time lapse of the sunset and all of that. And it looks like a bird decided to shit very close by and it ended up getting some splatter on it, which uh, is disgusting. So that's been cleaned, but I have spotted there is a little bit on the screen, so I'm gonna have to fix that in a sec. Uh, yeah, everything's going good. Um, I did check the histogram stuff. Uh, and so I was a little bit confused as to why um, the images were noisier than what I'm used to. You know, recently I've taken pictures of uh, like the North American nebula and the images um, who were quite clean. Um, but these ones were quite noisy, and I think it's because of the exposure. Everything was all the way into the black, so yeah, I, I was an idiot. I should have checked that. So I'm hoping these five minute ones will do the trick, but I will be checking the histogram first. If five minutes doesn't do the trick, then I'll just push it up or do something, maybe uh, increase the ISO, but I really don't want to. Shed. Um, it's the only place I can kind of like talk at normal volume. Um, everything's all set up. <clears throat> I've just done the puddle alignment. Um, that went fine. Um, and now I'm just waiting for it to get dark enough and for the uh, what's it called the veil nebula to uh, come out from behind the bush tree thing. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed this works. I don't see why it won't. Uh, I should get less noisy images in the end of it. And um, hopefully we'll be able to pick out like, all that really faint nebulosity. Yeah, cool. So um, I'm kind of just waffling now, so I'll just turn this off. But uh, it is now eight minutes, eight minutes to 11. Um, might start taking some just test shots, make sure stuff's in focus. But other than that, I'm just waiting. Once everything's stacked, I'll probably end up combining the three minute subs and the five minute subs into one you know, mammoth picture and then process that. Um, so yeah, if, if all goes well, fingers crossed, uh, the next thing you see should be the final image. And I'm back. <laughs> it didn't work. Um, so I'm, it's been two days since the last bit of video. And um, I had a tracking issue, I think. Um, I woke up in the morning and it had about 14 exposures and then all the rest were a mess. Uh, it looks like some cloud came in and then it lost tracking and the rest are just a bit of a blur. So, or after it stopped losing the tracking, it just, um, it wasn't the right field of view. So. I'm back, gonna try again. And I've moved the telescope mount and stuff uh, so that, that tree's not in the way. So I should be able to start um, shooting a little bit earlier, but same game plan as before. So now, assuming everything goes all right, the next screen you see should be the final image. Thank you for watching and bye for now.
crazy Monday I know it shows That I'm a little nervous 